Isabella Boylston and I'm a principal dancer at American Ballet Theatre in New York City and I'm here as the artist in residence this year at the Vail International Dance Festival. It's more intensive than your typical ballet gala where you just show up with some pre-made piece and a costume and a CD because you actually do get coaching. It's amazing. I have three premieres in one week. I'm doing Christopher Wielden's This Bitter Earth with Calvin Royal. Calvin and I haven't danced together a whole lot, but we're good friends. The partnering's very advanced. We definitely have a lot of room to grow into it, but Calvin's handling it really well. I think Calvin knows the music better than me, honestly, so, but he's just gonna drive. <laughs> Oh God, was he watching me? Oh shoot, I'm just gonna act like I was here to do a bar. I'm dancing in Afternoon of a Fawn, which has always been a dream role for me. I'm dancing with Eric Underwood from the Royal Ballet, and I've never danced with him, but he's a fabulous partner and a beautiful, beautiful dancer. The first time I saw it, I just thought, what a special ballet. It just has this dreamy, meditative quality. And I think also something that's so <laughs> relatable for all dancers. It's like that element of looking in the mirror as a dancer and being a little bit enchanted, but then also being really dismayed. <laughs> so you've got a little bit of narcissism and then a little bit of insecurity at the same time. There's nothing in it that's hard. So I think the challenge is just to make it really authentic and really simple and infuse it with your own nuances. I love Matthew. He's so much fun. And I also think he's one of the best American choreographers today. Where you really see his skill and his brilliance is the way that he structures the pieces and translates the music into a dance. And Ballet X is amazing. The first day we watched the piece, James and I watched them run it, and we just looked at each other and we said, well, they certainly don't need us, do they? James and I, I mean, we're great friends off stage, so whenever we get to dance together, we love it. And there's a lot of trust there, so I think that allows us to take more chances. Rehearsing, working on something, and performing, that fulfills me more than anything else. I've so cherished my time here in Vail, and it's always been really a time of artistic growth.